بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدنا محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد So welcome back and tonight we continue with the 19th chapter which is Surah Maryam Maryam alayha salam and this chapter has 98 ayat and the meaning for the name, of course, is Maryam ibn to Imran, the daughter of Imran, her name, a proper name. Uh, and we are told, Inna imra'atun salihatun abidah, that she was a very righteous, devout woman. And she is, of course, none other than Ummu Isa alayhi salatu salam, the mother of Jesus. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him. Why does this chapter have this name? Because in Firad Surati Bituli Qissati Maryam alayhi salam. Because her story is mentioned with such length and detail in this chapter in a way that it's not in any other chapter. And subhanAllah, we know that this is the only woman who is mentioned by name in the Quran. And subhanAllah, Allah Azawajal names a chapter after her. And this is something that for us as Muslims, if in case you didn't know, is unique because not even the Bible. Not even the Bible has a chapter called, you know, Mary, for example. Um, among its names is besides being known as Surah Maryam, it's also known as Surah Kaf, Ha, Ya, Ain, Saad, which are the letters that the chapter begins with. And its main objective is Bayanu Inayati Lahi Ta'ala li awliya'ihi min al anbiya'i wa salihin. That Allah Azza demonstrates to us in this chapter how much attention He gives and the care that He has for His awliya. And His awliya are those that love Him because He certainly does love them. These are the people who believe and they live righteously putting that faith to action. And this is true of the Prophets. May Allah Ta'ala be pleased with them all. And those who are the righteous that follow in their footsteps of everything of beliefs, worship and character. So we know it's a Meccan chapter and we don't have any reason to tell us for the entirety of the chapter why it was revealed but we do have that for some of its verses. But what about Fadluha, its virtue? We're told as was in the hadith of, uh, of Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu where he had mentioned uh, he said with regards to Bani Israel wal kahfi wa Maryam wa taha wal anbiya hunna min al itaqil awal that he had mentioned that these are from the first of the chapters that were revealed. And that word itaq, subhanAllah, also we're told linguistically that for everything that reaches its pinnacle of beauty, that it's referred to as atiq. This is why the, the Kaab is also referred to as atiq because it was like the most beautiful structure in that sense, the most beautiful house dedicated to the worship of the one God, Allahu Rabbul Alameen. Um, so these chapters have uh, a, a tremendous sense of beauty to them and all that they contain of, of, of teachings and uh, the Qur'an as a whole. And Ibn, uh, Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu also says that these are from those chapters that he has mastered, that he has memorized, that he has learned, that he understands. So this hadith that is in Al-Bukhari, it's a virtue as this is included in them. And uh, the next two chapters, as we'll see, Taha and Anbiya are also just the same. Munasabatu awwali surati Maryam bi The relationship between the beginning and end of this chapter, so that there's coherency of what the, the, this, this chapter is as a whole, we're told, Hadithuha anil basharati muttaqeen. That its focus as a whole is it is a herald of good news to the righteous, to the muttaqeen. فَقَالَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ فِي فَاتِحَتِهَا يَا زَكَرِيَّا إِنَّا نُبَشِّرُكَ بِغُلَامٍ اسْمُهُ يَحْيَى So Allah Rabbu Al-Ameen begins this chapter with that glad tiding, with that most beautiful news to Prophet Zakariya, Zakariya in the English, where he says to him, O Zakariya, we certainly grant you the good news of a boy, a son whose name will be Yahya. Allahu Rabbul Alameen named Yahya, subhanAllah. And he says in the ending of this chapter, 
قال في خاتمتها فإنما يسرناه بلسانك لتبشر به المتقين And we have certainly made it easy in your language and for your speech so that you can, you can give glad tidings with it, the Qur'an that is, to the muttaqeen. So subhanAllah, those who are righteous that Allah has made the Qur'an and this chapter especially as a glad tiding, as this herald of good news. Well, what about Munasabatu Surati Maryam Lima Qablaha Min Al Kahf? What about the relationship between Maryam and Al Kahf? We're told Lama Zakarati Al Kahfu Aja Aajibi Aajib Al Qasasi Talatha Maryam Bi Aajabi Qisataini Wilada Tu Yahya Wa Isa Alihim Salam. We're told that in the way that Allah Rabbul Alameen um, with regards to Al-Kaf that he concludes it with among all those stories, amazing stories that Allah Rabbul Alameen continues in Surah Maryam with two of the most miraculous stories and that is the births of Yahya and of Isa. Yahya's birth is miraculous because two things. His mother was actually barren. She was already an old woman. She had n was never able to have children while she was fertile and while she was young. And so she's now an old woman and Zakaria is also very old. And so Allah Rabbul Alameen granted to two old people and a woman who was never able to have a child the, mirac the miraculous birth of the son Yahya. And then with Isa alayhi salam, naturally the miraculous birth to Maryam without a father. So subhanAllah, we see that the relationship is that of amazing stories in Al-Kahf that continue with even more miraculous stories. But all of these stories, of course, are, are true. They are 100% real and we believe in them because Allah Rabbul Alameen tells us. And Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, awlan wa akhiran, wa sallallahu wa sallam, wa baraka ala Muhammad.